which third generation antihistamine works faster for your patients levocetirizine or desloratadine today we are breaking down this high yield comparison that appears in neat pg and usml exams i am dr karan kumar from musical pharmacology in bcbr exam prep and at the end of this video you know exactly when to prescribe each drug and the memory tricks to ace your exams first let's establish the foundation levocetirizine is the active r enantiomer of cetirizine active r enantiomer of cetirizine making it twice as potent as the original racemic mixture as i told you potency is the amount of drug required to produce a response making it twice as potent as the original racemic mixture and efficacy is the maximal response elicited by drug whereas doing a side by side comparison desloratadine is the active metabolite desloratadine is the active metabolite des loratadine is the active metabolite of loratadine active metabolite of loratadine both are third generation fexofenadine is an additional third generation but for the time being we'll be focusing on these two third generation antihistaminics desloratadine is the active metabolite of loratadine and because they are third generation they don't just block histamine they actively stabilize the receptor in its inactive state what they do is they actively stabilize the receptor in its inactive state stabilize the receptor in its inactive state in its inactive state this is why they cause minimal sedation compared to first generation antihistaminics then talking about the pharmacokinetics of each drug now pharmacokinetics the crucial differences which appear on your exams first of all is the onset of action onset of action this is extremely important levocetirizine or lc works within 1 hour whereas desloratadine desloratadine takes 1 to 3 hours half life is where they really differ which you need to know a high yield concept for your neat pg and usml exam half life levocetirizine has a half life of 7 to 10 hours requiring twice daily dosing or bd whereas desloratadine has a 15 to 27 hours half life which allows it to be given od or once daily dosing both have an excellent oral bioavailability the bioavailability in both of them is over 95% and they undergo minimal hepatic metabolism making them safer in the case of liver disease levocetirizine and desloratadine can be given safely in liver disease now talking about the clinical application of them for allergic rhinitis both are equally effective but desloratadine's longer duration gives better symptom control throughout the day so here desloratadine is a clear winner i told you in the case of allergic rhinitis because it has a very long half life so we will obviously prefer desloratadine gives better symptom control whereas if there is a war between both of them we also want to know that what do we give in the case of chronic urticaria that is where levocetirizine wins this battle because it has a faster onset provides quick relief 
so in chronic urticaria levoseterazine faster onset provides quicker relief but desloratadines once daily dosing improves patient compliance for pediatric patients both are approved from 6 months but dosing differs in renal impairment levoseterazine requires dose adjustment this requires dose adjustment in the case of renal impairment dose adjustment in renal impairment so here desloratadine is a clear winner desloratadine is a clear winner because it can be given safely this is safer in the case of renal impairment so doctor you all are becoming doctors you all have become doctors going for your neat pg and usmle exam so doctor desloratadine and renal impairment always remember this okay then time for our musical memory technique which i told you that i make everything super simple with the help of music so here is a musical mnemonic right for you levo twice a day deslo once will stay levo twice a day deslo once will stay both block h1 yeah exactly both block h1 but timings not the same levo works fast this low lasts choose your fighter for the allergic game for the allergic game fine now i will be talking about the side effects and safety both cause minimal sedation less than 5% compared to placebo minimal sedation levoseterazine has slightly more reported fatigue while desloratadine has better overall tolerability so here the battle in the side effect profile is won by deslo only deslo okay drug interactions are minimal for both both are pregnancy category this is important for you to memorize they come in the pregnancy category b pregnancy category b that is safe for use during pregnancy oh, okay in the category b safe for use during pregnancy now finally i'll be ending with the key exam points to remember key exam points summarizing what i told you about number 1 levoseterazine or lc equals the r enantiomer with two times of potency whereas desloratadine deslo equals once daily dosing advantage both are pregnancy category b renal dose then moving on to pregnancy category b for your usmle and neat pg pregnancy category b they are and last but not the least renal dose adjustment only for yes you got it right doctor dr deslo can be given easily renal dosage adjustment required only in the case of levoseterazine these facts appear frequently in the neat pg and usmle question now remember choose levoseterazine for faster onset which i told you desloratadine for better compliance it has better compliance and subscribe to musical pharmacology in bcbr exam prep for more medical education content and hit the bell for neat pg and usmle preparation videos bye